looks like we're good to go. So, Nate, uh, last season I saw your team had a 32 and 21 record. You guys lost in the GLIAC championship. What was the biggest takeaway from last season? So last season, um, I would say it was kind of a roller coaster. Like we started off uh, with a tough series against UIndy, then we went down to uh, Florida and did awesome. We went nine and one in Florida, and then once conference play started, um, there's a lot of ups and downs. You know, our I feel like we're at a point where the GLIAC for, for baseball is so even that on any given day any team can win because everyone's so talented and and well coached now so um you, you always got to bring your a game but uh yeah so we, we finished the season um on a little bit of a rough patch and then really turned it on once the conference tournament came around and uh just came up short but uh yeah so that, that's basically the rundown of last season Okay, well, you turned it on at the right time, right? Right when uh, the tournament came around. Uh, so I noticed your batting average every year in college has been over 300 besides your 2021 season. So what happened during that season, and how did you pick back up for the following seasons? Yeah, so um, th that's one thing that I, I always got to remember, right? So, uh, you know, I've had success here. Um, but I always, I always think back to that sophomore campaign where – yeah, I, re I really did struggle and it was more of a mental thing. So I was just in my own head and uh, I was really struggling. And I, I it's it's tough because the season's so so quick that um, if you start off slow, you know, it's, it's done before you know it. So, uh, you know, I've had success here, but it kind of plays into a little bit of motivation uh, every time I think back to that season, you know, I don't want to have that happen again. So. Uh, I use that as as motivation, not to get too high, not to get too low. But uh, you know, I, I always think back to that season to keep me motivated for the upcoming season to always progress and continue to work. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're a very skilled hitter. What is your approach when you step up to the plate? Um, I I like to play into what I do best. So I feel like uh, I like to drive the ball the other way or to hit to the opposite field. So. And a lot of times that's what pitchers are trying to do. They don't want to leave pitches over the, the middle of the plate. So I, I've tried my best to make that one of my strengths, what uh, other pitchers are trying to do. So that way uh, I'm not surprised when they throw it away and then I just kind of take it that way. So I'm, I'm just looking for something that I can, you know, drive and uh, hopefully produce for my team and in whatever way that may be. Cool. I see you play right field and first base. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Which position do you like better and why? I would say that I'm more comfortable uh, in the outfield. But, uh, you know, I really have enjoyed I, – I started off playing in the outfield and then due to injuries and other things like that, I moved to first base. And I, I really have enjoyed it because it's something new that I, I wasn't uh, as like, – I wasn't as comfortable with the fundamentals. And so uh, over time, I've – I've gotten more comfortable over there. And it's fun uh, to to chat with some of the other players on the team. If you feel like you're more a part of the game. So um, I do love both, but I would say I'm probably more comfortable in the outfield, but first base is, is a lot of fun as well. Okay, why are you more comfortable in the outfield? That's just what I always grew up playing. So I remember, you know, practicing in the yard with my dad when I was younger. My older brother played outfield, so I always wanted to be like my older brother. So. I started playing outfield and uh, so that's where I kind of, you know, grew the fundamentals and really learned from a position standpoint. So I never really learned the fundamentals of first base. So that's why I would say I'm more comfortable in the outfield. Got it. Okay. And I have one last question for you. If you didn't play baseball, what sport do you think you'd be playing right now? I have a really big passion for hockey. My favorite team to watch is the Detroit Red Wings. Like I'm a diehard Red Wings fan. So, and a lot of my friends from back home that I hang out with in, in the summer and things like that play hockey. So uh, I have a really big passion for hockey. I used to play a little bit when I was younger. I wasn't that skilled, but uh, yeah, I would say I would want to play hockey. Okay, cool. All right, well, those were all the questions I had for you. Uh, do you have anything else to add about your off season, next season? Um, take it away. I, if, if you want, no, no pressure if you don't want to add anything. Yeah, no, I'll definitely speak on, on this team and this new coaching staff. So 
this is my fifth year here. Um, a lot of the guys are, are veterans, but we do have some some fresh faces that we're excited about. But um, there's a there's a lot of good things to be excited about at Grand Valley, uh, especially with baseball. Like I said, uh, a lot of returning players, a lot of new faces, um, and a lot of guys that really do care about each other and really do pull for each other. And then you add uh, a coaching staff that is fresh, that's that's young and has had success at at every level. I think it's going to be a, a really fun and uh, energetic um, environment. And I, I hope that uh, we have a lot of success and I really think we're going to. So a uh, lot to be excited about over here. This yes, season. sounds very exciting. Well, thank you so much for taking the time, Nate. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much.